Hey y'all, welcome back to If It Ain't Cheap, I'm not buying it. So last week I got up and um, I ran to the thrift store. I think I went about twice last week and I went twice this week. So I have a lot of items to show you and I'm going to combine it all in one collective haul. So let me show you what I picked up. I went and um, found this, you know, just for your letters recipe cards to sit in the kitchen or you know at your office desk I needed one of those and um, I paid 69 cents for it and this will go great if you remember the um, fake marble um, stationery set that had the cubes you can either use it like for your makeup but I'll I use mine on my desk so this was a great addition to my office desk and then I came across this pretty glass baking wear. And it has the floral design around it. And this was 99 cents. And you know, you could do your meatloaf in this. Um, you know, small macaroni and cheese. And then I found this was sitting right next to it it is like a medium um, oven safe uh, dish and it has the same pattern as well and this one was 99 cents and I could do my lasagna my stuffed shells you know whatever you can bake bake chicken um, uh, with that haul I found a little amber leaf to go with all my little amber uh, stuff that I've been picking up over the last couple uh, weeks and this was 49 cents so I put a couple of mints or something uh, in this for the Thanksgiving table so I thought that was cute and the next day when I went last week I had been wanting one of these forever and it is a food tray or a writing tray that you can sit on your lap you know and write in the middle you know in your bed or have your food served to you so it's in excellent condition just needs to get wiped down and one of the oh here it is one of the legs is loose but I have Gorilla wood glue and I'll just put some glue in that stick it back in and it'll be fine I am really thinking about um, spray painting this, to go. but I paid $1.99 for this tray, which is an unbelievable um, price, you know. So I've used it already. I've been down with a little cold um, this weekend, so I've had my soup and my grilled cheese um, laying right on in the bed, and it's just so much better. You know to sit upright and to be able to you know eat your meal so the next thing I found was this nice little um, parfait um, dish um, and this was 69 cents it's got to get washed and everything but um you know holidays are coming up so I'll probably do like my Oreo cheesecake um, uh, inside of this and if it comes out again you know good I'll upload the video and let you guys see how I uh, use this I actually picked this up yesterday uh, Friday November the 1st was six wood trays and I want to say um, Hi to my friend at the uh, thrift, thrift store. I want to thank you for everything. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, I laughed when she said, I wouldn't even thought about doing that because I told her what I had, what my plans were when I had um, saw this when I took it up to the register. So it's six of them. You get six, six bamboo trays, six. So, the price on these were $2.49, and what I plan on doing is cleaning these up, and I'm going to spray paint them, 
Let me show you what I got. And it's 99 cents, just in case I forget to tell you the price. Now, this was made back in the 1920s or 30s. And the company is called the Cronin China Company, Monero, Ohio, number 55 is what this dish is. Okay? Now, this dish depicts... depicts Martha and George Washington um, in the description that I found and um, some of the dishes were made out of 24 karat gold and if you see the inlay in here can't really see it that good but this is supposed to be 24 karat gold around and this is also considered a platter and not a plate now I have not come across anything identical to this I've only come across like the nine inch uh, plates that people display in their china cabinet and they're going for like thirty to forty dollars so imagine if I was to resell this and put this on eBay I could probably get about fifty dollars um, because this is a collective item so I was really happy about that um, and probably in the spring, I'm going to start uh, reselling some of the things that I have found because I do not have any room. And um, I want to give it a nice home. Maybe someone is looking for this platter to complete their set. I'll never probably find an, um, a whole uh, 22 or 24 uh, set in this type of pattern. So I'd rather, you know, sell it on eBay um, or Etsy to someone that I know that's going to be able to use that. But for 99 cents, I scored a great deal. Great deal on this dish. Okay. Um, oh, let me start off with this. And look what I got. Oh, this is heavy. Look how tall. Look how beautiful that is. Isn't that gorgeous? Can you see it? And I can't lean it towards you, but I paid $1.99. And of course, everybody knows that it's a punch bowl. And it came with 16 of the punch bowl cups. Isn't this nice? So, my granddaughter has, um, both of my granddaughters, Ariana and Truly, they have like a little uh, birthday party or something. This, I thought this would be so cute to serve all the little um, kids their little punch and stuff or have like a little um, elegant tea party for the girls uh, as they get older. Um, and then I can also, instead of using this as a punch bowl um, in the summertime I can use it as a big fruit dish have all the uh, fruit and layer it down inside this you can also put sang sangare sangare in here I can never say that but y'all know the wine that's got all the fruit in it put that in there um, as well bummed out with they only had two s hooks that you hang on the side of the punch bowl Let's see if I can lift it I heard it a little bit and then you slide your cup on the S bowl but I went online and you can get replacements of these from um, Amazon for like seven dollars and then you just have all your cups going around so I thought this was really really nice and then it, you know have a little elegance to your uh, daughter, niece, you know, um, granddaughter's uh, birthday party. So that's what my future plan is. Uh, probably when she turns, she just turned six in August. So probably when she turns eight, to have another uh, elegant uh, birthday party for her. And then of course, you know, when Truly gets up, to, um, gets a little bit older, to throw her a, a nice birthday party. So that's what I got for that. And then today I ran over to the thrift store. I had went out and did my grocery shopping. 
And I said, oh, let me run over here real quick um, and see what um, my friends got, you know, what they got over here today. So I walked in. I didn't even grab a cart because I know I didn't have a lot of money. I had did a lot of shopping yesterday and be looking out for my shop with me um, video that's going to be probably coming out right after this. I went to Hobby Lobby. I went to Ross. I went to the Dollar Tree and I went to Walmart. So, um, I will be probably uh, posting that video most likely on Monday or sometime next week. And you can see all the, the good stuff that I found. But, so I, I was on my way out the um, door because when I came in, I didn't see her at the register. And I said, oh, she may not be here today. But I didn't even see anything in the back. Like I said, I've been going running in just to see if they put anything new out. And I've only been able to grab one or two things. So everything that you see here is over a course of almost two weeks. I just don't know if I'm getting there late or if I'm getting too, there too early and they're not putting the stuff out. But as I was getting ready to go out, she said, hey, Kel, I said, oh, hi, I didn't even know you were here today. She said, girl, did you see the, the glasses that are up at the counter? I said, no, where? She said, let me show you. And look how fabulous. I said, well, I wonder what you can use these for. I was thinking of maybe shot glasses or a tiny mark, you know, a tiny martini. So we got to read in the box and you get three of them, all different sizes. Get So we got to read in the box. She said, well, that's a good idea, you know, for uh, a small martini because it, it's it's." big enough to have a little shot glass you know make it as a shot glass but they're actually candle holders because we were wondering why were these little glitter balls in there and see see how that sits and you just light your candle and here is the um, gold one and it looks like it was never used so I guess somebody bought it. I don't know. But thank you. And that's the gold one. And then it came with a silver one. Now where's the wick on this one? Uh, I can't find the wick on that one. But. See how nice, nice this, this is? And they're all different um, layers. You have a large, medium, and small. So when you line them up on your table, you know, the height will adjust. So I may leave the base just like it is right now. Or I may bling it out with some rhinestones, uh, rhinestones and have, the, have it come start from the top like I did my Pear One Inspired uh, Wine Glasses. I may do the same thing and have it coming all the way down or I may just leave them just like this because I think they're just as pretty and elegant plain so you'll see these in my upcoming video for my Christmas tablescape and my Christmas uh, cabinet uh, bar cabinet that's going to be a really nice um, display on my table and I just want to double check and that looks like that's about it y'all so remember oh and I didn't tell you the price Sorry about that. It was one forty nine. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I don't know where you're gonna find all this fabulous stuff for that little bit of money, but I was just very happy that I decided to um, run over there today, and um, I got a good find. So. With that being said, I want to thank you guys uh, for stopping by. For all my new subscribers, thank you, thank you, thank you for so much. And everyone that's been leaving uh, comments, shout out to Miss Tammy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I appreciate uh, you. And I want everybody to have a good weekend. And remember, if it ain't cheap, don't buy it. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.